What's going on guys? So I think we have a whole new level of both stupidity and entitlement on this channel today. Cause we're here with North Carolina's very own Jewel. The woman who literally went out and made herself blind on purpose. And you might be asking yourself, Jamari, why the fuck would anyone in their right mind take their perfect 2020 vision and make themselves impaired beyond belief? And to you good sir or ma'am, I say that this is one crazy bitch right here. For most people, going blind would be a nightmare. But for Jewel Chuping, it was the fulfillment of a lifelong dream. I went blind on purpose, but I don't feel it was a choice. You know, her name is pretty ironic because she's no jewel to this society, but much more like that annoying pebble you can't get out of your shoe. And this blinding wasn't just the old stare into the sun for too long, oh no no no. This woman decided to go full daredevil mode and hired some sort of twisted psychologist to pour drain cleaner into her eyes. Ouch. Nine years ago, Jewel took the drastic decision to blind herself, and she researched the methods she would use. I found that drain cleaner is a little less painful, although it does a lot of damage to the eye. Because drain cleaner was easily available to me, I went with that. Damn bitch, all you had to do was keep your eyes closed. Jewel says that she has this condition called body integrity identity disorder. And apparently this is a very rare mental condition that makes the affected person want to either cut off their limbs or even become paralyzed. In general, it really just means someone who's able-bodied but wishes that they were disabled, which sounds like just about the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my entire life. To me, this is like very rock bottom, the ultimate end of feeling sorry for yourself because someone who always feels sorry for themselves always wants sympathy from others it's kind of like the boy who cried wolf where a person is always either lying or being negative about a situation until eventually either no one wants to hear it from them or no one even believes what they're saying anymore that is until one day the wolf comes around and eats the boy up and no one's there to save him but in this story this idiot decided to cast herself as both the wolf and the boy and she just ended up stevie wondering herself through the helps of this witch doctor over here you know this guy couldn't have been legit michael first more like like Michael the first person to fuck someone up this bad. I laid down on the sofa and he sat next to me, dro two drops into each eye. My eyes were screaming, I had some drain cleaner going down my cheek, burning my skin. All I could think of was, I'm going blind, it's gonna be okay. So let me get this straight, the doctor just poured drain cleaner into her eyes and then just sat there and waited 30 minutes while she suffered like a Hiroshima bomb victim. This sick fuck is just sitting there twiddling his thumbs like he's waiting for Domino's to deliver his pepperoni pizza. Oh my god, doctor, it burns so bad. How much longer? Well, the tracker says that that shit is still baking into your corneas, so... Let's give it another 15 minutes, Helen. Oh, I mean, Jewel. <laughs> You blind bastard. That shit actually burned so long that Jewel says it burned right through her actual eyelids. And when they ended up taking her to the hospital around half an hour later, the staff there did their best to save her vision. I guess when she showed up, she just pretended like she had gotten in some horrible accident. And she says when she woke up in the hospital bed, she was beyond pissed when she realized she could still see out of her two freaking eyes. But her dream to become blind came true after around six more months, where she just gradually kept losing her vision more and more until she just eventually lost it altogether. About six months, the sight in both eyes slowly went away. I was so happy. I felt that this was who I was supposed to be. And Jewel's actually been wanting to be blind since she was around six years old, apparently. She explains that thinking about being blind would make her feel very comfortable in her youth. And it's crazy because she was actually a very beautiful woman with these amazing eyes. And before she decided to take the leap into pouring acid into her eyes, she was even doing something called blind simming, where people basically pretend to be blind without going to such extreme measures. This would usually involve her using something like a blindfold or patches to cover her eyes. And her making herself blind definitely strained her relationship with her family, as they pretty much decide to disown her ever since she had decided to take her own eyesight. They basically just think she's crazy as fuck, and uh, I think they might be onto something. Becoming blind was definitely a difficult decision to make. I tried to avoid it but it kept coming up in my head. The big fear, of course, is somebody goes ahead and gets an amputation and becomes disabled and then changes their mind. Okay. These days, I have no regrets. I'm very happy as a blind person. So this chick really went out of her way to be so disabled that she has the motor skills of a five-year-old boy in Africa who just had his thumbs bitten off from running away from a lion. 
Even our dude Dr. Phil got in on the action when he had this nutcase make an appearance on his show. And it was actually a Doctor crossover. We've got both of our favorite doctors in the house tonight, my people, linking up in their matching black suits to dismantle this sick woman. And Dr. Stork says that this condition is beyond rare, and stories like this make him worried that some people might see someone like Jewel and think it's a great idea to hurt themselves to get some free sympathy from other people. He also says that a lot of people with this condition are often suicidal, and in general, they're not treating other aspects of their mental health correctly, and this is likely what's called causing them to want to disable themselves. There are going to be a lot of people, number one, who regret it. There are going to be a lot of people who not only lose their vision, but cause other irreparable harm. And so, yes, I'm concerned. I would have to say there are so many things that I would want to see resolved before choosing this option. To me, this is just a really big slap in the face to people who are actually disabled or in general struggling with conditions and diseases and they can't do anything about it. I guarantee almost 100% of those naturally disabled would absolutely kill to be in a healthy condition. You know Helen Keller and Ray Charles are chilling in heaven just looking down, judging this woman so hard. I mean basically she wants the general society to be okay with people wanting to disable themselves. She could have at least donated her corneas to someone who needed them or something like that, and I don't think that she should receive any special benefits or special perks for being disabled, in my opinion, because, well, the crazy bitch did it all to herself with the help of this quack doctor. But what do you guys think? Do you think that she deserves sympathy? Do you think that she deserves special perks and privileges or to even be part of this blind community? I'm not really sure. I think this is just a nutcase who needs some therapy. But I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please leave a big thumbs up. I got a lot more stuff coming soon. So go follow me on my socials at Jamari Speaks on Twitter and Instagram. And go check out my second channel today. It's called Jamari MS. The link will be in the description. I'll catch you guys later. Hope you have a good week. And uh, yeah, peace. Oh, y'all niggas see me now. See me now. See me now. Yeah. No, you can smell what I'm cooking. I caught you looking. No, you see me now. Y'all niggas running before you stun it on flows. But you say you see me now. <laughs> you was stuck on division. You couldn't fuck with the vision. But you see me now.